ตนนอาร์ยูทราเวลิงซูนแอนด์อาร์ยูสติลลุกิงฟอร์ดเดอะเพอร์เฟกต์บรูอิงเกียร์ทูบริงวิดยูเวนยูทราเวลทูเดย์อัมกันนะโชว์ยูไมรีคอมเมนเดดทราเวลิงกาแฟบรูอิงสตัฟโอเคเริ่มต้นด้วยกระดาษฟอสฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอร์สฟอ This is exactly the same as the C40, but with a different body. So Commandante released this specifically for those who likes going outdoors, going in the wild, and I use it whenever I go biking. You're not gonna worry dropping this because it's very durable. The plastic is um, the plastic is very durable. Um, it is made out. Of the QTP compound that Commandante developed, without the crank handle, it has a cover on top. Yeah, to avoid um, to avoid dirt or anything getting in the chamber, and then even the catch cup is very durable. Yeah, and it has the same nitro blade burr that you have in your Commandante C40. So you get the quality of your Commandante C40 without worrying that you might damage it, right? Some would say that this is too expensive, so I have an alternative for you. This is the Easy Presso Q Air. This is a later version of the Easy Presso Q2 and Q2S, but with a plastic body. Yeah. So again. With the plastic body, I don't know the compound that they used here. Um, with the plastic body, you're not gonna worry that you might damage it. It still opens all the way, so that you can clean it inside. Um, like the older, like the older Easy Presso Q2 and Q2S, and but it's very light. Yeah, it's very light. So if we are to So if we are to measure it, so the Q Air is about 370 grams, right? The Commandante, on the other hand, is 423 grams, right? If you want to enjoy the quality of your C40 when you're traveling, and you don't want to worry about it getting um, damaged, you can get the Trailmaster. Otherwise, if you can't get the Commandante. The Easy Presso Q Air is the best. It's the next best thing for you. Actually, um, the Easy Presso Q Air also fits inside the AeroPress. Here, ah, it fits inside the AeroPress. So this whole setup right here is your travel kit, right? Anyways, on to the next part. Okay, so those are the grinders. Um, on to the next part. This is a V60, and it opens to lay flat, right? Ah, huh? so it doesn't take up any space at all, right? This is the Hario Zebrang V60. It's made out of silicone, and it's very flexible. It comes in two sizes: the zero one and the size zero two. So, if you are actually going to brew um, more than a cup, you should get the size zero two. Okay, there. And if you want to keep it really small package, like. This one, you can, you should get the size zero one, right? Look how small that is compared to the size zero two. Right. Next is the next is a combination. Okay, it's a combination of either brewer and a cup, or a scale and a cup. Let's start with the AeroPress Go. So if you 
If you're not aware about the AeroPress, AeroPress is a brewing device like this one. This is the standard size. Um, it's a plunger. So you put your coffee grounds in and then put paper filter here. Right? And then you plunge the water, you push the water through the coffee grounds like that. And then you get your coffee. So this is the standard version. They made a very compact travel kit. So this is the AeroPress Go. So this right here is the whole package. You don't need anything else, just the grinder. And then when you open it, this part right here serves like um, a caddy for anything that you want to put down. If you're not comfortable putting stuff down anywhere. And then this is the plunger, but it's a very small, but it's a very small plunger as compared to the standard version here. Here, yeah, there. Okay, and then with the package comes a scoop. This is, yeah, one scoop is basically for your one cup, okay, and then you have a stirrer. Okay, stirrer for the AeroPress. And this is your cup, which is the perfect size for your AeroPress plunger. Okay, next product. Our next product is... This one, the Wakako Kappa Mocha. This guy right here is a dripper and a cup at the same time. So you twist this part, then lock it, remove the lid, and then here is your dripper. And here is your dripper here. Um, it's not a V60, but almost. You can use a normal V60 paper filter here and it brews great, makes great coffee. Okay, after brewing, um, you twist this part and then this guy, this very small guy right here is like a catcher for the dripping. It's like a catcher for your drain. Right. And then you can use the lid to close it. And then bring it with you. Just like a normal cup. Yes. Yeah, so when I'm in a hotel, um, I would normally brew like that and then leave this part, leave the dripper. Um, in the hotel and then I will bring this when I go out Yeah Okay, that is the Wakako Kapamoka. Next is the This one Reverse outdoor um, outdoor cup with a brewer I'm Not sure of the model But it's it's very cute. It's like a to-go cup yeah, it's like a to-go cup. And then inside is your dripper. Ah. Okay, this is a silicone dripper, which is very thick. Yeah, it's very thick. Um, very th thicker than the Hario Zebra. Okay. Um, according to Rivers, this is not a V60. This is the base. Here is the base of the dripper. And then it's it folds in half. So you just open it like that. And then put the dripper in. Put your paper filter and then do your brew. And then again, just like the Wakako. You can bring this with you when you go out. Just like that. Okay, 
According to Rivers, this is not a V60. In fact, they actually have um, they actually have a folding guide under. There. There is a folding guide under. Let me get some paper. Um, the folding guide, um, you just press your paper filter against the folding guide. And then... And then follow along the line so that you get the perfect angle. Yeah, there. It's a very big fold as compared to the V60. So uh, maybe, I'm not sure of the angle, but it's definitely not a V60. Let me try. there so this I think so this is going to be a very fast um, very fast brew okay um, I think it's nice that they instead of making their own paper and making the coffee community buy another set of paper for their dripper I think it's nice that River just simply did a folding guide for for the normal v60 paper yeah there and lastly we have the Hario coffee scale mug so this is my um, latest this is my latest travel gear acquisition um, it's a normal cup but it looks really nice it's very it's so pretty yeah and if the earlier cups are a combination of a brewer and and a cup, this one, <laughs> um, obviously with the name Scale Mug, it has a scale with it. Okay, so under here, yeah, if you can see here, it is actually a scale that is attached to the mug. So you just open this part here. Yeah. And then it's a scale the best thing about this is you can use the scale for other applications so if you like if you want to weigh your coffee you can put your um, catch cup there and then weigh your coffee and then when you are about to brew you put the mug here, open it up, get your um, dripper, so you can use a Hario Zebra, um, even with the base. Okay, or the smaller Hario Zebra, or the smaller guy. You can also use um, like a normal AeroPress. Yeah, the mouth still fits the the filter of the AeroPress. And then when you're done, just don't press. Remember when you're using an AeroPress, don't press on your scale, right? Always remove your cup before pressing onto the scale. So this Hario Scale Mug is actually a double layer vacuum mug. So um, it will not only keep the temperature of your coffee, you can actually hold it even after brewing, right? And then you can actually attach the scale back onto your mug and it's not gonna fall. Yeah, because it is um, magnet activated, so it's not gonna fall. You can use it with your scale. You can bring this while walking. Um, 
yeah, it, and it's and it's my it, it's my favorite right now. It's 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 what I bring when I travel. Right. So, of all the things that I've showed you today, um, I use every single one of them, especially the grinders. So I use the Easy Presso Q Air whenever I I travel with limited space because it's a very a very tiny package right and it's very light okay and whenever i go biking go into the mountains go to the nature i use my commandante grinder this is the x25 trail master okay as for the drippers i always use this one Okay, if you've seen my bike and brew videos, um, this is the dripper that I always use whenever I go biking. My AeroPress Go, I always bring this whenever I, um, whenever I travel with limited space in tandem with the uh, EasyPress or Q Air. Right. Um, the Wakako, the Wakako dripper. Um, this is my very first travel setup. Right, because it's it has a very nice dripper on top, so I don't need to bring dripper because it's built right into the cup. Yeah, and this reverse right here, uh, this is actually not mine, but this is um, actually my best friend's uh, um, biking biking gear. So this is what he brings whenever we go biking. So if my setup was this Hario Zebrang, if my dripper was this Hario Zebrang, his setup would be this reverse um, cup and dripper tandem. So these are the different coffee gears that I recommend when you travel, right? So for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!